Take a look around teacher Adrian Kozlowski's room at Fort Zumwalt North, and you'll see the unmistakable signs of a biology classroom. But beyond the microscopes and biology textbooks, you'll also notice three glowing machines tucked away in the back. These are tower gardens, and after the school day ends, they're part of a somewhat different biology lesson. With 25 years of teaching experience, Ms. Kozlowski is always looking to bring fresh new experiences into the classroom for her students. And it doesn't get much fresher than homegrown vegetables. I've had some clubs in the past, um, and it's really hard to get kids to come because our kids at North High are very, very involved here. So when I learned about the Tower Gardens, it just struck a nerve with me. I, this was very important to me. To, I, I teach my kids about nutrition, building healthy cells and biology anyway. So I, this was just another avenue to bring that message to more students. And this is a message she's very passionate about. Luckily, it turns out her students have a passion for learning about the food they eat as well. Before, if you asked these students where their food came from, they'd likely say the grocery store where their parents shop for fresh fruits and vegetables. Others might have responded with a farm, imagining large tractors working rows of produce. But now, they can say at least some of their food comes from their very own classroom, and they've gotten their hands dirty growing everything you see before you. This kind of hands-on lesson plan teaches them everything they need to know about aeroponic gardening, and the lush results really speak for themselves. Every year we kind of start back with what is aeroponic gardening, because a lot of these kids have no idea what is that plastic contraption and how are we going to grow food from that. So I teach them a little bit about aeroponic gardening and how the system works, and then we just dive in. We have planted seeds which germinate in the window over there and once they are ready to be planted into the tower gardens, we put them in a um, little basket and put them into the tower garden. It's simply amazing how we can do this rather than what my grandpa does, he's a farmer, and it's different because I'm over here using a machine and he uses the ground. It's actually easier, less messy, and the plants actually grow faster. And it's actually kind of cool to see because you'll plant um, something and then a month later you'll get to harvest it. Part of the appeal of the Tower Garden Club is that students get to take responsibility for every step of the process, from germinating seeds to harvesting mature plants. They even maintain the towers, checking on each plant and testing the water's pH level to ensure optimal growth but the best part is tasting the end result of all of their hard work. And it seems this club is growing pallets as well as produce. I have students who come in who really don't like vegetables, they don't like fruits, but they come in and when we have our salad bar parties and we, we all of the greens that we harvest for our salad bar party come from our gardens. And so it's a big mix of all of these things that we grow. And they're like, wow, this really tastes good, Miss Kay. So they kind of, they try things they've never tried before and then they realize that it, it tastes pretty good and so it just gives them, changes their palate a little bit. The Tower Garden Club also does Smoothie Mondays from time to time, incorporating their fresh greens into tasty drinks. But they can't possibly eat everything they grow, so they gladly contribute fresh produce to the Panther Pantry, which provides needy families with nutritious food each week. It's an incredibly generous gesture and it's something everyone in the Tower Garden Club can take pride in. I also absolutely love the fact that we give food to the food pantry. Because when I was going to my old school um, a way long time ago, we would get food from the food pantry and it would be absolutely disgusting. Sometimes it would be expired or, you know, the normal nasty canned box stuff. And figuring out that, like, you know, we can give some actual good food to, that, to the people that need that. I think it's absolutely amazing. Thanks to the Garden Towers, students have grown an extensive selection of plants, including bok choy, snap peas, bib lettuce, and more. Each tower takes up about four feet of space, but can hold dozens of growing plants at a time. For Ms. Kozlowski, the club has helped her find a fresh, exciting new way to share her love of nutrition and health with her students. And she dreams of starting a community garden at Fort Zumwalt North providing greens and veggies and more educational opportunities to every student at the school. But for now, students are welcome to stop by the Tower Garden Club to learn more about where their food comes from and drink a few tasty smoothies while they're there. 
it's a lot of fun. Um, it's not what you expect. It's so much better than what you expect. I just love how it feels like a family when we're in here. Like, I, I'm kind of new to the school, kind of not. I just kind of stayed to myself last year when I started. So, like, getting more involved in the school, meeting people with, like, you know, similar interests, it's, it makes coming to school so much better. It's opened my eyes to what's different and how we can like help the community with raising it for the food pantry and everything. So I want to tell my friends to come and have them experience this with me so then they can pass it on as well. Honestly, I'd have to say Tower Garden Club is more than likely the best club because it's a very beautiful way to appreciate plants, people, get to know people, give back, and I just think it's wonderful.